Hey, welcome back. Welcome back to another episode. It ain't even an episode. Welcome back. Hope everyone is keeping safe. We are still at work. Uh, let me know in the comments if you're still working or what the situation is like in your city. Hopefully, you're all right. Hopefully, none of you have caught the, uh, the you know what. I'm not even gonna say it. But uh, here we had a bit of water damage. Um, so there was a leak from these pipes up here. So they were repaired. So what we have to do, we have to put this piece back in. And they also pulled the vanity out, vanity out in this bathroom behind this wall and it's loose. So I had to cut a hole and put a timber in, a back block to screw to it. Um, so it's fixed again. And so in this video, I'm just gonna show you how we cut it out and how we patch it in the wall. So how to cut a hole in the wall and fix it. So let's get started. I've got my trusty Makita, Makita drywall cutter. And I'm thinking, let me just double check, I'm going to the right place. Right there. It'll be about here, I think. Now what I've gone and done, I've set my blade to 9mm because this wall is 10mm thick drywall plasterboard. And I know that there's cables coming up here. And most of the time, they're sitting right on the back of the edge here, so. Now it doesn't matter what shape we cut it, if it's not square, because this exact piece is going right back in there. Oh no. So, it's actually over here. I cut it in the wrong spot. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. And it's down the bottom there. So. have it. Okay, you can see this loose piece right here. So all we need to do is get some timber behind it so it's firm and then uh, screw it in from this side and then we'll just put these pieces straight back. Well then we're gonna have to put timber here, timber there, timber here, timber there, timber there and put it all back in. Same with that one. We've got to replace some skirting boards and that is our job. All right, so we've got some pieces of timber cut up. We did that outside. This is 35 mil thick and these timbers are 70 mil. So you got one here. So technically 35 mil should fit up in here, but it's very tight. So I'm gonna get a bit of sandpaper and I'm just gonna rub this back a little bit just so we can slide that in a little easier. I'm gonna slide it up behind that so we can fix that. We don't want to push too much. We don't want to pop any tiles off next door there. So that's working well. I managed to get it up there. Okay. That's good. That's half on, half on. 
So that's so tight. I've got my Paslo frame here. Probably not necessary if you don't have one of these. You don't really need to do this. Always keep some nails in the pack. Oops. Alright, well we want to actually hit this on an angle. You don't want to shoot it straight through. There we go. Put it in there nicely. Two, two. And probably not a great idea. too much but these heads need to be flattened off for this sheet to go on all right so let's go to the other side let's try and screw that in actually we're gonna put one here as well it's a tiny little block going there actually, we're gonna have to sideways it okay we're gonna have to chop this down a little bit is that our smallest one yes let's have a look the other side You see that flapping around there? That's what we're trying to fix. And that's it. So my plan here, cut various sizes. called stud adhesive. It's also a few other colors as well, but it's specially designed glue uh, to fix plasterboard drywall to timber and steel and uh, it's used instead of screws generally in the field of the sheets. So generally there's no screws used in the midsection only around the perimeter and glue is used and they often use like uh, a bit of drywall to pin it in wait for the glue to dry what you doing poochie huh? better get out of here because we're going to make some noise Now that's flat, that was the issue, a bit of glue here, and that wasn't sitting flat. That sits flat, and the idea is to go like that as well, so we can tack on this sheet. So what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to use this framer. Watch out Poochie, it's going to hurt your ears buddy, go on. Go. Just gonna add some timber here quickly, but I'll show you the. This is cement sheet on the other side, and if you use these regular, these regular screws, they just keep spinning and spinning. I'll show you that when we get next door. Whereas these ones have little ribs, little ribs.
that's the difference between these these ones keep spinning and the heads actually will bury themselves into that uh, and and this is a lot softer so these can pull themselves into the sheet easily enough I'm just gonna prepare this Sometimes I leave the heads out a little bit, James. Yep. If I push it all the way in. Yep. And then when we fix this, it can like, um, uh, I'll show you. Well, I won't show you. No. I will show you. If that's in too far. Then when we try and screw it here, it pushes through. Oh, yeah. So if you leave the head out, Now we're just going to fix that top one. <laughs> 